You've probably heard the saying, millionaires are made in recessions. Well, turns out it's true after all. If you know what you're doing, now could be one of the best times to increase your net worth, despite the difficult times. Although we are not officially in a recession, there is no denying that we are experiencing a significant downturn. Even smart company CEOs are already preparing for the consequences. Can you believe that 97% of business owners have cut expenses by over 10%? And if you thought that wasn't enough, there's more to witness. The markets have also taken a hit by falling by at least 10%. But in these tough times, the legendary investor Warren Buffett has come up with a unique point of view. He considers bad news to be an investor's best friend. While many people play it safe, those who understand the market can take a risk and become millionaires. First, let's go over what a recession is. Most of you might already know that a recession is an extended economic downturn. It occurs when the economy is not performing well. Retail sales fall, factories produce less, wages decline, and unemployment rates rise. Now, to give you a clear picture of how it impacts, let's start with business. Every quarter, companies report their earnings, providing insight into how they expect to perform in the future. Lately, though, they've been cutting their expenses, preparing for slower or negative growth, and frequently resorting to layoffs. If you do a quick Google search for mass layoffs, you'll be surprised at how many companies are reducing their workforce. Twitter laid off 10% of its workforce, Vimeo laid off 11%, and Stitch Fix laid off 20%. It's a harsh reality indeed. It's not just a minor setback. A recession can have far-reaching consequences. But don't lose hope, guys. We're here to assist you in finding a silver lining in this difficult situation. Let's discover the opportunities that are waiting to be seized. Number 1. Stocks Speaking of stocks, we'll begin with their historical context. Many of you will know that a bear market occurs when stock prices fall dramatically. Stocks have dropped by about 30% on average during these bear markets since 1946. However, the worst drop occurred in 2009 during a severe economic downturn. That's when the popular S&P 500 index fell 57% from its peak. Without a doubt, that was a difficult time for investors. Do you know things can worsen when a bear market coincides with a recession? During these difficult times, stocks have dropped to an average of 34.8%. To give you an idea of where we stand right now, we're down to about 25%. The three major stock market indexes, the S&P 500, the Nasdaq Composite, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average, have all taken a hit. It is certainly bad news for the stock market. So, what does it all mean? When investors start giving up and selling their stocks in large numbers, it's usually a sign that we're about to hit rock bottom. In reality, it's like a tipping point when things start to improve. You see what we mean here? You can benefit from the ups and downs by closely monitoring the market and understanding these patterns. During a recession, wealthy individuals have a unique advantage. They understand that the economic downturns bring about more affordable prices. This allows them to capitalize on discounted stocks and make strategic investment moves. By shifting our mindset and embracing market fluctuations, we can take advantage of lower stock prices to maximize our investments and potentially reap greater long-term rewards. Here's another interesting fact. A bull market always follows a bear market. During past recessions, the S&P 500 dropped by an average of 29%. However, once the stocks reached their low point, they rebounded, leading to average returns of about 40% in the following years. The market has risen by an average of 58% in just two years after a bear market. This demonstrates why investing during a recession can be incredibly profitable. Now that we know a recession isn't all bad news, it's important to diversify our portfolio to safeguard our investments. One way to start is by assessing your risk tolerance. If even a small decline in your investments cause panic, it suggests that you may have invested too aggressively. In such cases, diversification becomes crucial to mitigate potential losses. To lower your risk exposure and increase the stability of your portfolio, it's advisable to spread your investments across different types of assets and sectors. Consider including large-cap stocks and international investments to achieve a more balanced approach. This diversified strategy helps you effectively manage risk and potentially improve overall returns. It also increases your chances of weathering stock market volatility with greater resilience. In addition to diversification, adopting a long-term investment strategy is another fundamental approach to making the most of a recession. 
One valuable technique is dollar cost averaging, which can be particularly advantageous during a bear market. You can buy more shares when the prices are low by consistently investing a fixed amount over time. This approach helps you to lower your average cost per share in the long term, potentially maximizing your returns as the market recovers. Number 2. Real Estate Okay, so next we'll be talking about real estate. Generally, it's rare to witness a nationwide decline in housing prices. Looking back over the last 60 years, there's only been a few instances where prices have dropped by more than 10%. But here's the thing. Wall Street currently believes that national housing prices will fall by 7%, with a worst-case scenario of a 10-15% to drop if interest rates continue to rise. However, it's important to remember that each area has its dynamics, and some may continue to thrive even during a recession. That's not all. Even Moody's Analytics supports this notion. According to them, some of the most vulnerable markets, such as certain areas of Florida, Arizona, Idaho, and Southern California, could see a 25% drop from their peak. This downward trend is expected to continue for another 12 to 18 months before hitting its lowest point. If you have a fixed-rate mortgage and plan to stay in your home for another 5 to 10 years, these changes may not greatly affect you. However, this market situation may present some opportunities if you want to invest or buy a home. One such option is to explore real estate investments directly, such as purchasing rental properties or flipping houses. These ventures can provide a stable income through consistent rental payments or profits from selling renovated properties. Another venue to consider is investing in real estate investment trusts, or REITs, which are companies that own and manage income generating real estate properties. By investing in REITs, you can potentially benefit from steady rental income without the hassle of directly owning and managing properties. These real estate opportunities offer a chance to tap into the potential for long-term growth and financial stability. So, even during a recession, avenues within the real estate market can be explored strategically to make the most of the situation. It's all about carefully considering your options and aligning them with your long-term goals. Number three cash. Let's talk about the role of cash during a recession and why it's an important asset to consider. Many people believe cash is a wasteful investment because it loses value due to inflation. However, during economic downturns, cash can be a haven for wealth when other investments are experiencing losses. Even billionaire Ray Dalio acknowledges that cash is no longer considered trash. Looking back at 2018, cash proved to be the best performing asset, you would have outperformed the market if you had saved money in a high-yield savings account. Not just that. Even major financial institutions like Citigroup recognize cash as the only asset that can serve as a hedge in such times. As a result, cash is gaining importance in investment portfolios and fund managers have been hoarding more cash since 2001. Despite the potential benefits of cash, many people overlook its value because they are focused on other investment opportunities. However, given the current state of affairs and the increasing importance of cash, it's worth considering how to leverage this asset effectively. One strategy for maximizing your gains during a recession is to scale back on expenses. Take a closer look at your spending habits and identify areas where you can make cuts to be more efficient. This way, you'll have more funds to reinvest in the market. Secondly, while investing all your money immediately may be tempting, it's equally important to have a safety net in case your income decreases or unexpected financial difficulties arise. It's all about finding the right balance between saving for the future and seizing investment opportunities in the present. There is no denying that life is full of uncertainties, so having a cash reserve allows you to navigate challenging times with confidence and stability. It protects you from being forced to sell investments at significantly reduced prices during a market downturn. Undoubtedly, it's an essential component of a well-rounded financial plan. All right, we've discussed the options available during a recession, but what if we told you the next economic downturn could be a once-in-a-lifetime chance? It may seem unbelievable, but let's explore the compelling reasons behind this fascinating possibility. Number one, less competition. When the economy is struggling, many businesses become cautious and cut back on expenses to protect their cash flow. This, however, provides an opportunity for smaller, more determined businesses to step up to fill the void left by larger competitors. With less competition, these small companies have a better chance of establishing themselves, gaining market share, and potentially even overtaking the larger competitors. Let me share an interesting example. 
During a recession from July 1981 to November 1982, McGraw-Hill studied 600 companies in various industries from 1980 to 1985. The findings were fascinating. Those who kept or increased their advertising spending outperformed their competitors by 256% after the recession. These companies gained significant value and distinguished themselves by seizing the moment, remaining visible through advertising, and continuing to invest in their brand. However, companies that cut or reduced their advertising efforts saw a minimal increase in market share and only had an 18% increase in sales once the economy recovered. Number 2. More Opportunity You know what, guys? Recessions bring forth some fascinating opportunities. They work as a natural sieve, separating the weaker players in the market who struggle when sales and profits decline. But the good part is that it allows stronger, more resilient businesses to shine and emerge victorious after the storm subsides. Consider the case of Lehman Brothers. They were a large global financial services firm, but encountered significant difficulties during the 2008 financial crisis. They were heavily involved in subprime mortgage lending. As the crisis progressed, they accumulated losses and ran into liquidity issues. It even led to their bankruptcy, which caused quite a commotion in the financial sector. But here's the thing. As Lehman Brothers went bankrupt, other companies saw opportunities. So while recessions are difficult for some businesses, they allow new and agile businesses to thrive. So the next question is, what should you do to make the most of it? It's essential to protect your career to thrive during a recession. This means going the extra mile, exploring new opportunities, and continuously enhancing your skills and knowledge. Consider starting a side hustle or taking on additional projects to expand your experience and broaden your network. While it may require extra effort and dedication, your actions will position you for success when the market returns. Remember, the journey may not be easy. Still, the rewards of securing your career and seizing future opportunities will be well worth the time and energy invested.